Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Vixius and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the last episode of Prison Architect, we really, we really did some progress. Uh, now, we made a shakedown uh, for the end and we found a lot of contraband, like a lot. So right now we have uh, eight prisoners in solitary, which is, uh, which is actually a pretty decent amount. Uh, we got the infirmary up, I believe. Um, we beautied up the prison a little bit, so now it looks nice and and not so so dull anymore. Um, what we need to do now is pretty much just maintaining the prison for a while, uh, improve it, and really clean it because it's getting dirty. It's getting really dirty. We also need to expand on cells so we can have more inmates. Uh, now that I look at it, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is build some more tables because we don't really have room for all. Ah, I fucked this up. Sorry for the swearing. Uh, we really don't have room for all the inmates in the cantina right now. Um, so let's make it a little bit bigger. And that should do. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Do we have any janitors? We do not. Um, so I think we need to build this, and then we need to go into here. We need to take up another grant. Uh, we need to take up the prison maintenance. It is going to cost us some money, and it is going to cost us negative cash flow, I think, because we need two janitors and a gardener. Uh, the gardener, we're going to keep him, but I don't think we're going to keep uh, both the, the janitors. Because really what I want is to have the inmates do it. I also think we're going to have a laundry room so that the inmates can get clean clothes. Which is, I think it's actually a need for them. Yeah, whole thing. Uh, it is a need. So if they get too dirty, they're going to be, going to get angry, of course. Uh, and the staff is, is, is starting to not like the environment. And I, I, can, I can see that because the prison is really, really dirty which is not good. How many chefs do we have? We have three chefs. I think one of them is up here. I'm actually not sure if this prison is even being used. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Actually, is there some way I can find out? I don't think so. But I do think we have two cooks down here which is uh, what we need. We also need to put in a another cooker. If I could turn it around. And should we put in another fridge? Yeah, let's just do that to be to be certain that we have enough. And I think it should it should cover up when they're linked together. So, we shouldn't have any problems there. Also, we're getting five new people tomorrow, or, well, in a little while. That is going to give us some money again, and we're going to have a little higher cash flow. But we really need to, we really need to focus on that cash flow. Uh, because it is a lot. We have a lot in guard wages, as well as workman wages. Uh, administrator, we can't really lower that. Uh, staff, we can't do that either. Prisoner food and staff food we can lower, but I, I mean it's not that much, it's like 280, 228 a day, which is not bad. It, it's workable, we can, we can do with it, but we could also do with less. I guess we can go down to low on some of them, but it is going to make them um, a little bit furious that they don't get the food that they really need or deserve somehow um, so you need to have a focus on that as well are there any more up here no there's not and here we have a god patrol yeah, I think safely we can uh, speed up time uh, let's see what do we have What's on staff we actually we have a lot of guards compared to how many inmates we have I don't know if we need that many I would rather have them than, than not have them. Okay, that zoomed in. Q&E Q &E zooms in, okay. I actually never knew that. 
that's kind of useful, I guess. Um, we, I, I'm not sure we need that many guards, but it, it, I would rather have them than, than not have them. Uh, if the prisoners do get upset somehow, we, we really need to have them. I think the yard is going to be expanded soon as well. It's going to be built out here uh, to be a little bit bigger because we're going to expand uh, the cells down here. I think the way we're going to expand the cells is just this way out and then maybe down here somehow. But I think we're going to get started building this. It is going to be a little bit pricey, but I think it's worth it. And apparently uh, Siri just activated herself on my iPhone. I'm just going to put it a little further away. I don't want her talking, talking over the video. Uh, let's close the intake for now. We're going to get the five new ones now. And we don't really have room for more. And I don't feel like holding anyone in the holding cell. It's like I have the holding cell just to have it. I never use it. And I never wanted to use it. I think it's 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 a bad way of having prisoners because they do get upset in there and fights can very easily uh, kick off in there. I don't I don't think it's worth it, really. Uh, let's see all the inmates. Maybe we should uh, get a bigger shower. How long do they have to shower? Two hours to shower. That that should be enough. But you never know. Uh, right here, let's put in a door. We're gonna separate it up when it's when it's completely built, because then we have a better uh, better view of how it's actually going to look in size. Let's see, he's coming with the door right there. I'm glad to see that they are using the path that I laid out. It's it's going to get them around. A bit quicker. He's gonna get trapped in there now. Yeah, you got trapped. He's not that bright for walking over a construction site. Oh man, we also need a chapel. Maybe we should put it here as well. Can we do that? Is there space enough for it? I hope there is. Let's see. We need we need a cleaning cup. What you're gonna place here? Um, we also need the laundry. Where is that? Where is the laundry? Am I blind? Or can I just can I see it? Isn't it there anymore? Do we have to unlock it? Oh, we need to unlock prison labor first. Oh. Yeah, we need to get that first before we can actually get that, I think. So let's build a wall there. I then think we can we can put in a chapel. This is like the minimum size of a chapel, I think. Actually, we could do with this, but I think this is a pretty, pretty decent size. Let's put in some doors. Or, well, one door. So they can actually get in there, building up the wall right here. And when they're done doing that, I actually don't know what to do. Um, I guess we can hire the janitor, or well, two janitors, and a gardener. Not two gardeners. Damn, that just wasted me 500 bucks. Um, staff, fire, yeah. Um, this is going to help out a lot now that we got the janitor. Uh, they are going to clean the entire prison because it is very, very dirty. And it really needs cleaning, especially in the, in the staff area right here. They, they really need to, to step that up. What is this? Adam's lawyer. Huh. Are you new? What? I'm not sure I've actually seen you. Uh, we got the new people. I wonder who they are actually. I don't really know the name of all of my 
prisoners, so it's kind of hard to keep track of them. Is there food not, not for everybody? I'm actually not sure that there is. Um, let's actually, let's throw in a staff door up here. It's a little bit quicker for them to walk out this way rather than all the way around. And just to make life easier for our kitchen staff, we, we're going to put in another serving table so they don't have to walk that far to put that in all the time. And the chapel is done, so now we can begin filling it with stuff. Grants, is there any grant that we can take? Inmate nutrition research. Serve a single low quantity, uh, low quantity meal for two days. Serve three high quantity, high quantity meals for two days. See, that is going to be pricey. But it is going to grant us a lot of money. But I'm not sure we're going to put that in yet. We're going to have this one soon. Because we can have prisoners assigned in the laundry room, kitchen and the cleaning cup. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that will be the next one. Right now we need to put some lights in the chapel. And we need to lay it out actually. We, we can do that now. So let's just do that. Let's turn this table. There's really no good place to put it I guess. So let's just put it like here. No. Yeah. Let's just put it right there. And then we're going to have some prayer mats up here. And we need some benches for them to sit at. I think that is I think that's good they don't need they don't need much uh, to be happy so we need to run some cables up there I actually wonder I guess we can put in two capacitors I'm not sure that that two is actually needed but it's nice having more room to work with so we don't accidentally shut down the whole prison somehow because when we do improve this this is going to take up a lot of luck or a lot of electricity um, so i don't really want that to be the case that we actually shut down the entire prison oh you are you are a bad bad prisoner let's uh let's search you and search your cell as well see what did you want out to grab oh drugs that wasn't smart, was it? I actually think we can in here see, uh, yeah, we can see what we found over the last 24 hours, seven days, actually. Uh, we can see where things are stolen from. A lot of stuff is getting thrown over the fence. But I mean, that is, um, that is expected because we don't really have that high of a fence so it's it's not bad it, it's thrown over it's good what is the demand is high the supply is also pretty high i guess we maybe should do another shakedown i just can we if we click on this guy they are actually out there getting stuff so let's search you and search you and we're going to search your whole can I search your cell block? Why can't I search your cell blocks? I can do that. And let's let's search the cell blocks to see if there's anything in there. Because this is three i this is three items uh, in the last I don't know two ten minutes five minutes. Um, so let's search all of it just to see what's actually inside of the prison right now. There's a telephone. Uh, we can see where it came from. It, it got smuggled in and traded in the cantina, I see. 
uh, hidden and then hidden here where it's found. Okay, it's actually pretty interesting to look at sometimes. But we now got deployment again. Well, we, we no, it's logistics. We need to we need to assign some prisoners to the cleaning cup. Uh, we need to make the laundry room. I think we'll do that now. Yeah, we can. Um, let's make that here and then right here we're going to not, no not laundry I think we're gonna make the library we can't because it needs to be bigger can we make the laundry smaller I think we can so then the library can be the size that it requires we then need to put in doors and we also need to build up the wall and that is pretty much pretty much good. I don't think we need a bigger laundry. If we do, we'll we'll make it, but I don't think that we do. At least I don't hope we do. We can have six people on the job. I think uh, some of them is fine. Let's throw in. Let's actually fill this up. Then we need to go into programs now, and we need to. Do this, uh, kitchen and safety hygiene. We actually need to start two of them because we can. And then there's still one interested. So when these five are done uh, with the training, if they complete it, they can work in the kitchen. If they don't, they can't. That's just how it works. You can, if they fail, and there is no way of you changing if they fail or not. But if they fail, they will not be able to work in the kitchen. And I also think we need to run one of these at some point. Um, led by a doctor in a infirmary, and alcohol therapy is run by a psychologist in the common room. So we can actually run these two, um, which is also good to do, because if we run them, people will maybe maybe get off their um, addiction. Don't we have a psychologist? Why can't I have started it? Parole hearing, can I start that? No. What if I then stop this? Can I then start this one? That is weird, because we do have a common room right there. Do we need to have like a table in there? Each prisoner requires a chair. So I think if we make like a little circle up here, will that work? If we make some something like this, will that work? I hope it will. We also need to run some utility through here. Then we need to install a lot in here. We need to install at least two machines. We need some laundry baskets and we need some ironing boards. Let's just put them here. I think that should be good for that. We also need to run the library at one point. See, is there any... Well, that is classroom. We need this one. And that's completed, right? Um, what else? Uh, prison manufacturing. We will get that at one point. Not right now. I think we need more prisoners to be sure that we can actually have people work inside of our workshop. Like, we can build a workshop. Um, where is it? Where is the workshop? Right, right there, we can build a workshop where we can press license plates, I think it is. Um, and for that to work, we need wood, so we also need a forestry, and that is a gardener that tends to that. So we need that wood. We also need a storage room to store the wood in, uh, so we can bring it back and forth to the, to the workshop and all that. But that will be implemented very soon, I think. Um, 
Right now the workers are busy with this. The inmates are inside. And actually the cash flow is still not bad. Is that let's see, where is finance right there? So we make a total of five thousand seven hundred and twenty a day. And we spend five thousand and hundred and four. So I guess that's not bad. I think we could go ahead and do a tax relief, but we really don't pay that much taxes right now. Uh, you will save fifteen hundred taxes per ten thousand of daily profit. Um, and yeah, you see, we aren't even making ten thousand daily profit yet. We will very soon. I think we will very soon. At least I hope so. Uh, now we also need to keep better eye on this because people that work in the cleaning cup will steal this as drugs and use it. So we need to keep an eye out on people doing that. Oh damn, we need to run water up here as well. I forgot that. Let's run out there and put two in and we also need to run this up so they they have their work for them you could say and the prison is actually looking pretty nice now why is there so much food up here when you're not cooking it is that a bug are they only getting all of this? Um, at least he's cleaning it, but he's not cooking any food. I don't know, man. Okay, now that we got the chairs up here installed as well, can we have the alcohol therapy? Yeah, we can. Good. Good, good. Uh, that is really good, actually. What do we have here? Spirit? Spiritual guidance led by a spiritual leader. Um, how do we get that one? Can we unlock that? I don't think we can. Um, actually, let's try and get this micromanagement. As I see it, it unlocks food logistics, allowing you to specify which kitchen cooks for which canteens and which canteens inmates eat in. Uh, similarly, laundry logistics lets you or override which cells are blocked. Uh, cell blocks are covered by which laundries, okay. Also unlocks the deployment scheduler, which lets you customize your guard's deployment at different times a day. Um, Unlocks a reform program schedule, letting you manually overwrite the daily schedule of programs. I guess this could be actually good. We're also going to get dogs. Should we get the armory as well? Just because we have some money for it. Then we can actually do another grant. We can get uh, this one at one point, which will be good. We have four more hidden. Um, I think we need to... I think we really need to get uh, up to at least 40 prisoners. Uh, so I guess we're just going to go for 50 because then we can do this grant, this grant, and this grant. Um, the Comda grant is a long way ahead of us because we need to have the workshop for that. This one as well, max sick infrastructure. It's not any. It's, it's, it's not something that we need to have in this prison right now. This is kind of a outdoor prison. I'm not going to do the entire series around this prison, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I haven't really thought about it, but we can go in here and see valuation. We can sell this prison for 130,000. And then this total is what we have to build up the next prison. Uh, we can sell this prison and then build up another one. We can also sell shares of our prison. We can sell 10% for eight grand, which is not good, because to sell the entire prison, we need to own 100% of the prison, I believe. 
And you see, we sell the prison for 8,000, but if we want to buy them back, it's 10. So we lose money that way. The only, the only good thing about selling shares is if you're really struggling uh, with the money, um, it will get bad. See, it needs, the inmates need hygiene. I guess that makes sense. They also need clothing, spirituality, they have the chapel now, so that's good. Literacy, they are getting the library. Uh, I need to finish that, of course. Let's have the sorting desk, and then the shelves, actually. Oh, damn, no. What is going on in here? Oh no, we have a gang member! Oh no, people are escaping! Get him! Get him! Yeah, he got him. Where did you get a knife? Stupid. That was not good. Um, that was not good at all. Uh, oh damn, we, we have a we have a gang member. I have never had a gang member before. This just got interesting. Damn. Um, that just went out of nowhere. What happened here? They killed one of our guards. You mother effer, you killed one of my guards. You know what? You know what? You're getting... 24 hours in solidarity. That is 36 hours, you bastard. You killed one of my guards. And what did you do? You're you're fine, I guess. You just had the keys. Es escape attempt. You know, we really need to... Uh, uh, our doctor is unconscious. Well, I think it's time to get a, 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 a another one. Um... This episode is going to be a little bit longer than what I expected because now I want to get the sword out before I before I go. What is this actually? It's a painting, picture, something. Um, who was involved in all of this? What do we have? We have four in lockdown, five awaiting solitary, five require medical attention, and we have one dead body, and he's right there. Now that's one of my gods. That is not good. What did you do? Um, you know what? When all of this is sorted out, we're gonna get serious on these guys. Um, and we need to do a shakedown. That needs to happen. He somehow got his hand on a weapon, and I don't know how, but he did. So we need to make that shakedown. This is not good at all. But right now we don't have the god power to actually do the shakedown. We need to really get this sorted out first. And we have some guards that are seriously pissed off. Because they need to rest. And I get that. Um, they will need some entertainment. Maybe, maybe we should give them something up here. Can I turn it? There we go. Give them a TV. Give them a radio. They need to do something. I, I get that. Let's give them an arcade machine as well. And then why are you still there? So we, we actually have some guys now that are our max security. We have two of them. Uh, because they did serious damage knocked some of my guys unconscious he actually um serious injury weapon found destruction found rocks yeah and then we have this guy this guy is going to be a pain because i actually sent him away a lot 
And I just realized now that they, he don't have a bathroom. Um, so now these guys are up in max security. That means they have another re resume. Re resume, is that how you say it? And what I will do to them, I will take away some of the free time. They will be in lockup uh, for most of the day. They will have two hours right here to do something. Then they will have one hour of yard time. And then lock up for four hours. Then they will eat. Then they will have free time and then they will go to sleep. And I actually think I'm going to give... Um, no. You know what? They can sleep until six. That is fine. How is this now? Um, it's getting better. So I think let's end off the episode here, guys. This this is a crazy ending to the episode. I know I would have stopped like five or six minutes ago, uh, but I really wanted to sort this out. Next episode, we're going to start the episode off with a shakedown because we really need to get uh, this prison sorted out. Also, next time we're going to install a lot of metal detectors because we need that now. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like down below. That will help me out a lot. Also consider subscribing because I will upload regularly content of Prison Architect and a lot of other games. So I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.